It is Sunday morning and I'm walking on the Big Creek Trail, the very beginning of my three-day backpacking trip. You may be able to hear Big Creek off to my left. So I'm headed 5.3 miles to the Walnut Bottoms campsite where I'll be spending two nights So, pretty easy grade. It's gonna be sort of like this the whole way. Just a gentle grade. Very nice trail. Be one waterfall along the way, and so supposed to be very scenic. Good views of the creek. So far, so good. This is a very nice trail. I am enjoying this hike a lot. 
right alongside a big creek. I'm at Walnut Bottoms. There's many sites. I found a really good one. One single tent site down there I might take close to this fire ring right here. And there's more up this way. And there's more over there by the trail, by the river, or by the creek here seems to be the best. I like to have the, the creek noise all night. This sort of a, is a good for, or for a group. You know, there's five or six guys coming down here today. This would be perfect for them. I don't want to take a spot here. Good tent site right over by that tree. And there's more up this way. I am all set up. Got my water, tent set up, most everything in there. Got my chair out. My one luxury item that I just love. 
I got a great spot right here. Here's the river. Right over here. A little steep here to get water. A little better right over there. Wonderful spot. I'm going to do a quick overview of all the campsites in this in the Walnut Bottoms little campground. This is what I'm going to call Site One. It's the closest one as you enter. Very spacious. Room for quite a few tents. Very flat areas. Put a big tent right there. Nice, nice little fire area. Put a big tent right here as well. Site one's pretty nice. It's real close to the trail and a little further from the river. This is site two. It's on the river side of the trail. See the trail is right over there. This is a very small site. It's got a fire ring. Very nice tent site right there. And a very good tent site right there. Now we have the river sites. This is site number three. That's where I'm at. There's one little great tent site that I'm on. And good tent spot right here. Quick access to the river. can put a couple tents right over here. Now tent, or site number four, very close by. Tent spot there. Nice fire ring. Put a tent right there. Excellent little tent site right there. This is quite large. You put a couple tents right there. And a good site right there. The, yeah. Yes, the site number three is quite large. This is site number four, also next to the river. Got the firing area. Nice tent site there. Yeah, that's a great little site right there. A little bit away from it all. This is very large. Got a nice tent site there. And also put a tent right there. Oh, and you could put a huge tent or three or four tents right down in there. So 
assessment. That's site four. The big and this is site five, the last of the river sites. Good tent spot there. Nice cozy fire ring. Hmm. Put a tent right over here. And perhaps a tent right back there. This is a small one. And that is it. Five sites. And there are three food hanging cable systems. So that's very convenient to each site. It is a Monday morning and I'm going on a 10 mile day hike up Camelback or Camel Gap Trail which I, which I have not done before. So that's going to be quite exciting. Now the very first time that I stayed at Walnut Bottoms I came to the first camp, the lower camp. I didn't like the situation there with the food hanging pole. You pull your food up with a rope up the pole and tie it off at, with a cleat on the side of the pole. So I camped in between that lower camp and the horse camp that's up here. Somewhere off to the left. I don't know where it was some stealth camping and I didn't have a Ursac bag back then just a regular nylon food bag I just I didn't tie it up in a tree or anything I just hid it away from my tent and everything was all right when I went by the camp the next day the lower camp a bear had gotten into the food it uh, undone the rope from the cleat and got into the food. I'm not sure if it got everybody's food, but so I was happy I did what I did and camped away from all that. So I haven't seen any bears yet here, but they're, they're supposed to be around. This is the horse camp. Not as big as I thought it would be, but it's pretty nice. Right by the creek there. Oop, getting muddy right here. 
on the horse traffic. I don't believe they stayed at that campsite back there. I think the horses, the whole group went on probably up to Laurel, Laurel Gap Shelter would be my gap, would be my guess. So I don't think Camel Gap allows horses. We'll see the sign up here shortly. So it looks like the equestrian equestrian group went this way up Camel Gap Trail. Gunter Fork does not allow horses. So they're doing a long, apparently a long day ride, starting at Big Creek and going all the way to the Cosby horse horse ranch or horse stables. That, that's a long ride. Up to the Appalachian Trail, then down Snake Den Trail. That's probably 17 or 18 miles, I would think. Pretty good. The Camel Gap Trail is four miles long. Three miles of it is along Big Creek here. And then the last mile is a climb up to the Appalachian Trail that probably gets a little steep in places. So I'm about halfway through with the creek portion of it. So I've got about two and a half miles to go to the Appalachian Trail. It's been fun so far. Beautiful creek. Much of the trail is overgrown like this. When it's along the creek, it's not so bad. It gets pretty overgrown. I don't know how you would ma maintain a trail like this. It's too far from any trailhead. Nice right here. Uphill is tough. I'm pretty high in elevation now. And it's, the leaves haven't quite come out yet, so you can see see the ridges. The dogwoods are still in bloom. So I'm getting close. I think maybe another half mile to a mile to the Appalachian Trail.
I made it. Appalachian Trail. Goes off that way to the south. To the north. On the Appalachian Trail now, and still going up. It's gotten cooler, so that's nice. I do not know the name of these flowers, but you can hear the humming of all the bees. And you can smell the flowers. It's very nice. There's hundreds of thousands of them here. It's quite beautiful. It sort of looks like snow. <laughs> and I made it to the low gap and the Low Gap Trail. I'll be heading down that way. I am still hiking down the Low Gap Trail. There's no one on this trail. I met five through hikers on the Appalachian Trail. Talked to four of them at the Low Gap Shelter. And 
No one on this trail though. In fact, at Walnut Bottoms, there were only two other people there last night. A young couple. I was expecting the five fellows I met over, where was that, on the Lower Mount Camerer Trail. They said they were going to be at Walnut Bottoms. I thought they said Sunday night. Maybe they're going to be there tonight. We shall see. This last half mile of the Low Gap Trail keeps going up. I thought I was done about <laughs> half mile back there when we got to the big creek. But no, it goes paralleling the creek for at least half a mile. Maybe three quarters of a mile. I'm still not done. I made it back. And my tent's still standing. One year, we did this trip. And when Cracky came back, his tent was flattened to the ground. A bear had gotten into it and got all his vitamin pills. Well, I'm headed out this morning. It's a Tuesday morning. Headed out from Walnut Bottoms back to the Big Creek Trailhead. Big Creek right over there. As I was packing up this morning, it started drizzling. So I got everything packed up. Everything's just a little damp. Little did I know it was going to start raining. So I really didn't think ahead. I did. I had my rain jacket on, but I didn't have my waterproof gloves out. I didn't put my rain pants on or my waterproof socks, which I need for these shoes. So I ended up getting pretty wet when the rain finally eased off a little bit I stopped you know tree leaves are still dripping but I put on my rain pants and waterproof socks and, and gloves because I was starting to get cold so I got all my gear on this time and felt so much better and now the rain is pretty much stopped for now. Okay, I made it out to the road. The parking lot's right down to the right. It's 11.45. So I made it down here in exactly three hours. Pretty quick, but now downhill all the way. Looks like they're doing some work on the restroom. There's a 
my truck over there.